are talking about machine translator, the business guys, the software engineer, the tester, the requirement analysis specialist, which is again mostly an engineer or a business analyst from the domain specific area. And those st stakeholders may give the same things different names. In South Africa, maybe they call it different. In US, in Europe, they may call the same thing different names. But actually, everyone likely will be right. And this situation can result in lots of misunderstandings in the future. So, the practice proved it that to be a good idea to create a list of terms for the clients, the team and other related parties. And the same is true for the roles in the product as different roles, different types of users may sign up with, with different ways. In, and thanks God, now I will talk about uh, natural language processing and machine translation. In uh, everyday communication with clients, the lays stress on functional requirements as a software engineer, as a computer engineer in business life in the first place. It is necessary to understand clearly what goes and, and result in the client purses. Everyone sees the fish in the ocean, right? The same holds true, but what we do? You should pay enough attention to requirements, discussing obvious things sometimes that people <coughs> may see different at all. So, my advice to you is preparing a requirements checklist. And another important point is how detailed requirements should be. Every project is unique and we try to apply individual approach to them based on their capabilities. However, the practice proves that the more detailed requirements are the more precise and estimated are more changes to meet it. And the experiences she teach us or showed us that the availability of detailed requirements helps the team, the software development team actually, which you will work with too much time together, to estimate more accurately the time that will be spent on the implementation of certain features. And in addition, you will get estimate which team is possible for this situation. While working on the requirements, your priority as the requirement analysis specialist or requirement analyst should be to help to identify the key points and the main functionality of the services required for a successful start, which bring a successful end or successful deployment of the software. And in the future versions of the product, you can add features that the customer wants and likes. But from some point here, when I'm talking about the customer, also when I'm talking about the translator or the companies in this business. When we, uh, now, till now, I talked about how requirements should be listed, and now for evaluating natural language processing and machine translation systems, the following sequences of steps may be processed, like top level sorry, tasks, setup, quality requirements, I will talk now, which are the tasks independent from the descriptions of the features the output of the system must have. And describing how these requirements would be elicited and formalized from users would require a complete discussion. Not uh, my time is enough for now, but we, will, or we can discuss it later. So, the requirements, uh, 
looks like a mission or a jump held by engineers or analysts, not like translators, but also my opinion is translators behave, may behave like a business analyst when we're talking about machine translation products. But you will exactly be in software quality part as a quality tester or other types of uh, titles they set for this uh, part of software development life cycle, the quality part or the testing part of the software. These are generic <coughs> elements in a requirements review checklist. Comprehensibility. Can readers of the document understand what the requirements mean? Redundancy. Is information unnecessarily repeated in the requirement documents? Completeness. Ambiguity. Are the requirements expressed during terms which are clearly defined? Could readers from different backgrounds make different interpretations of the requirements? Consistency, again this term is a generic term in also cyber security and also computer science, but also in software products. Do descriptions of different requirements include contradictions? Or are these contradictions between individual requirements and overall system requirements? Organization. Is the document structured in a sensible way? Are the descriptions of requirements organized so that related requirements are grouped? Conformance to standards. Are departures from the standards justified? As software engineers or computer science specialists or computer engineers, we follow up or obey to some rules or some standards too. Traceability, are the requirements unambiguously identified? Do they include links to related requirements and to the reasons why these requirements have been included? functionality, usability, efficiency, maintainability, portability. These are also basics of software quality. For example, functionality, a set of attributes that bear on the existence of a set of functions and their specified properties. Reliability, again, in software, a set of attributes that show the reliability. Usability, of course, all the products should be usable and also the software, machine learning products. Are. Efficient performance level of the software, the amount of the used uh, resources, maintainability, how to maintain the software after weeks, months, years, or other terms if created. Portability a set of attributes that bear on the ability of the software to be transferred from one environment to another, physically or in other means of uh, environment change or environment to transferring from one environment to another. Uh, and by the way, as computer science, which looks very uh, different from translation or translating department or translation interpreting department we offered when I was computer uh, engineering department had in English uh, there are several courses we offered actually <coughs> Mrs. Anar uh, offered us like software requirement analysis software quality and assurance testing system analysis and design. I am sure these courses now available for 
Translating and Interpretation Department. Sorry if I'm calling it wrong. Uh, now, in our university, the students of translation may take as selective courses on these subjects of software quality and requirement analysis. So, thanks for your listening. Thank you very much for your speech. Can you stay with us for a second, please? Okay.